guys welcome welcome back it is me sweet miss Reem. i know we, we had a little hiatus but we back we here and i come to talk this shit so today i was scrolling through you know instagram like i normally do we all do like oh scroll scroll do we gotta do and i seen that the shade room had posted this article or like um post about this lady who went on a blind date and we know we all been there. I've been on blind dates as well. I've been on blind double dates, you know, very weird and random. I talked about it in one of my previous videos. I probably put the link for that video in another and at the end of this video. And I'm just like, yeah, you know, my blind date was kind of weird. Went out to dinner, stuff like that. But you know, if you're going on a blind date, yes, you know, we're in the age that we do want to protect ourselves and do some do different things like that and make sure that who you go on this blind date with is you know reputable safe not crazy because you know there's a lot of crazy, crazy people out there but this lady took it to the max so she was going on a blind date with a man and she invited 23 of her family members to the blind date you invited 23 after one how you go from one to two three I'm confused, and I feel like she over was trying, like, she overdid it. Like, I understand if you're going to blind date, you have your friend, like, hey, girl, if you're not busy, you're not doing nothing, could you sit at the bar? I will be on the date, and if I need you, man down, let's do a cold, you know, something like that. I know people have done that, and I will do that for people, and I hope people will do that for me. But I'm not inviting 23 of my family members to go on a blind date with me, and then... She dead ass wanted the man to pay for all 23 of her family members' meals. What? The man say no. So, I'm like, is this a do or don't in dating? I feel like on this spectrum, it's a don't because she was excessive. Now, if she had just invited one friend to sit at the bar to make sure that the blind date going okay, yes. But you done invited 23 people, y'all on y'all date. You getting to know him. He talking to Auntie Sue, Uncle Leon, Cousin Sarah. It's too much. And then the, did, you, did you invite friends at that too? And then if, because if you're trying to get to know somebody, you can't have 23 other people trying to get to know him as well. It's not going to work. It's just not. And it's going to be uncomfortable. He looking at you, you looking at him. He looking like, but what's wrong with this girl? And she looking like, but, you know, I want it to be safe. So, I don't think... That he should that he should be obligated to pay for her family. No, your family members can pay for their meals. I'll pay for you and our meal. Because the bill came up to three thousand dollars. I don't think the man should pay it because the man ain't tell she to bring the marriage and parish to the date. He said, Hey, I'm feeling you, let's go out, let's see each other, let's do this thing, you know, old school way person to person organize a life simple clearly she took it took it way way left and i would definitely post some of the articles so that y'all could see it's the shit but the shade root always coming with some crazy shit so what is so what are some other do's and don'ts i feel like you know if you're on a date you should not be on your phone you should like put your phone away or turn your phone down not looking at your phone when you're on a date because i have had that like you talking to yeah we trying to talk and you just on your phone now you could do your phone whenever when you outside and you were at home with your boys you could do your phone if you out here you really try to get to know somebody you know give me the courtesy and the and, and the, all your attention to look at me and all type of stuff no there's some people out there that we do need like dating do's and don'ts or dating etiquette what to do on dates what not to do on dates how do you go about dressing today's because i'd have been on my date from hell from a guy who who dressed totally down and i was dressed casually up and i say cash because i had jeans a nice top a nice little um you know, sweater over my jeans and a nice little shoe because it was summertime. So I was like, ow, give it to him. 
while he over here with his scruff McGruff jeans and he just come home from work. It's your birthday. I'm trying to match your fly because it's your birthday. I knew the assignment. Clearly, he ain't know the assignment. And I was like, oh, no, this, this is going to be the first and last time to see the first and the last. So, uh, you let me know what are y'all do's and don'ts or what have you experienced in the dating world that you was like, never again would I allow this to happen to me or never again would I do this at a date or on a way to a date or anything because I feel like dating is a hard situation in general and when you add your family to it and all this friends and thing. All you, all she needed was a escape word for one friend to be at the bar. You'd be like, listen, if I, if I um, you, you could excuse yourself, go to the bathroom, and if I text you and I say, man down, you know to call me in five minutes, give me a sad story that I'd be like, what, what, what happened? Oh no, I'm on my way, I'm coming, and that's how you get out of crazy ass situations. Okay, home girl. She probably needed to, to, to talk to somebody, a, a, a friend that's not crazy because, you know, she had talked to somebody and told them when I'm trying to pl I'm trying to invite 23 of my family members, they probably would have told her no. And I know I know for a fact the guy not, the guy not going back on another date with her. Because she looked crazy. He like, hell no. And we like, we done. Yeah, but the dating world is crazy out here, y'all. It's hot out here for a pill. Yeah, I just saw what this is like for Raji. I'm going to be on my natural vibe today. today. This, this is like my natural puff. I'm like, oh, girl, you got, you got heel. And it's sick. All right, well, see y'all on Friday. Bye.